What's up guys, it's Toby Rosario. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about why your follow-up leads, let me bring this down a little bit, uh, why your follow-up leads are the uh, are, go are gold line. And the reason is because actually before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also smash that like, book, like button. It does help with the algorithm. That way more people get to see this video. If you feel like I provided some sort of value, don't forget to hit that like button, okay? Also comment below anything um, anything you want, right? Um, so how you can save on marketing is, uh, you know, uh, reaching out and marketing to the same leads you have in your database. Your database could be your CRM or your wherever you are taking your inbound calls, right? I like to use CallRail if you use Google Voice. So anybody who's reached out to you, either letting you know that they're not interested or they are interested, you just off on price, right? So what I did was I sent out a recent ringless voicemail campaign and I got some calls back. And the reason I sent the ringless voicemail campaign, because they already reached out to me from a direct mail campaign, letting me know either they're interested or not interested, right? Now, and I labeled these, I tagged these opportunities. And what an opportunity means to me or how I define what an opportunity is, it's basically, um, so first of all, there's two type of people you're going to deal with, right? Two type of sellers, right? People who need to sell and people who want to sell. Those are two big, dif uh, two big differences, right? The people who want to sell, um, the people who want to sell, uh, they don't have a pressing need, right? They're not necessarily motivated. They want to sell the house, but they're in no rush to sell it, right? So they can wait to get the top dollar, right? Um, the people who need to sell have a pressing need. They, they, something, something is, is giving them, giving them a reason, like a need to sell, right? So, however, sometimes people who need to sell, you still might be off on price, right? They still might be off on price. So I look for three things. Someone who needs to sell, they have a, a need to sell. Someone who told me they're interested in selling. And the, the price range has to be somewhat, um, when I get that number over the phone, it has to be somewhat in that range of where I need to be, right? Um, even, if, even though it can be, a little far off as long as they two they, they have the two other needs right need they need to sell and they want to sell i still follow up with them i keep following up with them because situations change over time three six nine twelve months anything can change right um so i like to follow up with those leads um because eventually they they, they a situation can change where they didn't have the same situation six months ago, right? So you keep following up with those people. And this is this doesn't cost you much because they're already in your database. You don't have to send out new marketing um, because you're just marketing to the same list over and over and over again until they eventually get in, right? Until eventually uh, you guys come to a compromise on the price that makes sense for them and for you, right? Um, so again, the, I labeled these opportunities. This is my recent, um, these are my recent uh, results. Uh, so I just leave, I just tag them, uh, opportunity, uh, these, again, these people need to sell. They want, they, they, they want to sell They're They're interested in selling. Uh, and the, the price range is somewhat, um, we just have to keep working on that price. Right. And these people were, cl were um, we're closer to getting that price where we need to be. Right. Um, so this is a good way to, uh, save on marketing dollars is to market to the same list or the same people you've already market to, marketed to because situations change over time. Um, and you want to be keep, you want to keep following up with them. I always, you know, always in the conversation, you know, if it's someone who, someone who we can't, we can't agree on price, right? Um, I always tell them, you know, it has, it has to make sense for you. It has to make sense for you. I want it to be a win-win for both of us. Um, you know, no hard feelings. We'll just part as friends. You know, I might let me know if you're interested, if you if you ever change your mind or I, maybe I'll, I'll shoot you a text down the road if just to follow up to see if anything's changed. And nine out of ten times they're OK with that. Right. You want to you want to be upfront. You want to let them know that they can either contact you or you'll be willing to contact them down the road just to see if, you know, maybe a situation has changed. Right. So I just wanted to shoot a quick video. Again, I use call rail, um, whatever, or whatever CRM or whatever um, system you're using to track your calls. For your marketing campaigns, you want to re-market to that list until you, uh, you know, it, it, so see if, if a situation has changed, see if they give you a call back and, and say, hey, Toby, you know what, I need to sell now because this X, Y, and Z, whatever that case is. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. Smash that like button. Also, um, 
go ahead and watch the other videos. I do have some other videos coming here and I'll have it somewhere in the uh, after this video. Peace.